What's going on guys, it's Peak Reacts here and I've got a new series for you guys. Uh, as you saw by the title, I'm gonna be doing a rebuilding series for the Portland Trailblazers. Now they don't need much rebuilding, but they obviously haven't won a championship since 1977. And um, I'm gonna start today, starting on March 11th. Obviously that's later this later now because of the coronavirus. We don't even know if these games are gonna be played. But I'm gonna see if we can make playoffs this year, go through the off season very slowly. Um, I don't know how many episodes this will be. It could be a five to 10 episode rebuild, depending on how well we do. I'm gonna go super slow, really in depth, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, so obviously all the injuries are now gone for the Blazers, except Hood, I believe. Hood might be back. Uh, they do have Hood back. I'm gonna go in there and change it because obviously Taurus Achilles is not gonna be back for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Uh, Go ahead and edit Ronnie Hood's um, injury. Let's see, he's got, he is not healthy. He's got an Achilles. Maybe I gotta go all the way to right Achilles. Oh, I think it was the right Achilles. I might be wrong though. Um, um, so he had an Achilles. Do they even have a strained left Achilles? Oh, it's probably under torn. Right, torn left Achilles, sure. And his injury duration, he was injured it in November and it is currently March, so he needs about six more months. That would be around 180 days. So he's not gonna be healthy until obviously the middle of the year next year so that could hurt us but i'm gonna go ahead and go through the roster change up what i want to change up so obviously lillard's gonna be playing max minutes mccollum gonna be playing a lot of minutes i'd rather lillard get more than mccollum ariza carmelo and hassan um gary trent's first man off the bench he's really been really improved this year he's one of my favorite players on the team uh nurkic is gonna slowly uh i'm gonna slowly ease him back in right now I'll just give him about 20. Nasir, um, I'll give him some. I want to get Zach Collins a lot of minutes. I'd rather Nasir run small forward, and then I also want to get Simon's minutes. So I'll just go ahead and adjust the rotation automatically. And I do want Nasir to run some small. I don't need Mario Herzonia getting minutes because I don't think he's a part of our future. I just want to get our guys um, minutes. Uh, so we're going to run a 10-man rotation, Simon's. Um, I still don't think Nurk, need, Nurk needs that many minutes right now. They got, I'll give Dame about 37. We're still going for a playoff run right now, but I also still want to get our young guys some minutes. So Simons will get about, uh, let's give Simons those minutes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go through uh, what we're looking at with the money salary cap table. So who's going to be with us next year? So obviously Hassan is an unrestricted free agent. It'll be interesting to see if we try to bring him back. I might, but if I was going to bring him back, it would be for um, a backup role. Nurkic is with us for a while. We've got so we got Damon CJ locked up. I'm trying to make this as realistic as possible. So I'm going to keep them because I truly believe if the Blazers are going to win a championship, it's going to be with those two. Ariza, we've got for two more years. I don't really like paying him that much, especially at 34. So we'll go and we'll look into that. Hood has a player option. I think he'll take that. Collins, we got for two more years. Simons, we got a lot. We got two team options for Little. Swan again, zone has got a player option. We lose Carmelo. Fine with that. Gary Trent's on a really good deal, and Winning Gabriel has gotten some minutes. And look, Blaz Blazers are still playing Festus Azili, and I don't even know who this is. Andrew Nicholson? But we're going to go ahead and start simming through. I'm going to sim with you guys. I'll stop. How many games are we behind? I think we're four games back. Three and a half. Um... I don't really care if we make the playoffs. It's not, this is a big game right here. If we win this, we don't. And Melo's got an injury. So I'll adjust the rotation manually. I think we'll just go down to a nine man. Um, so yeah, he needs to sit. So that, that's, we'll just go ahead and integrate Collins back in here, right off rip. We'll go ahead and give him like 27 minutes and then load up the minutes a bit on Nurk. He just needed, a, you know, just one game to get him back. So that's a tough loss. That's already going to push us back four and a half games. Um, so we'll send to a route right here. If we, 
If we're not doing good there, we might just call it, get some young guys some minutes. Uh, Mello's back, but I want to leave the rotation as is at the moment. Um, so I'm going to do the scouting later in the offseason. Actually, I'll go ahead and just start my scouting. So um, I'm going to go ahead and scout here. I want to scout out um, Obi Toppin. I'm, I want to get a wing. Um, so um, we're going to go into small forward. The guys I like the most in this draft, I really like Isaac Okora. I think it would fit us a lot because he's a really good 3 and D, but I think he'll go too high. Denny of VG I like. Um, I don't even think Wendell Moore will come in the draft. Jordan Moore is a good player, but um, I'm going to go ahead and send my scouting for Isaac Okoro for some small forward. And then um, we'll just go ahead and auto pick the rest and advance through. So we beat the Rockets handily. That's a big time W. We can, we should win this game against the Timberwolves. We don't. See, that's what the Blazers, that's the Blazers' problem. We lose um, games we should win. This is probably a loss, but we win. See, we're winning games we should lose, losing games we should win. So how many, how, geez, we're far back. The Grizzlies have not lost since, which is something that just doesn't, something I don't like about 2K. The Grizzlies are probably going to lose this game. Zach Collins is cold already, but that's expected. So we're going to go ahead and swap these minutes, but obviously Melo doesn't need that many. Still want to get Collins some run. Give him about seven minutes a game. Nurkic is slowly getting eased back in. I'm just going to go ahead and sim, sim kind of far through. This could be it. We've got a, um, a tough road trip here, but we get a win here. These should be two wins right here. These would be big for the Blazers. We lose to the Hornets and lose to the Pistons. Just when I say it's two wins we should have, we lose. And we lose again. So yeah, we're not going to make the playoffs, which I'm cool with as a Blazer fan. You always want to see your team in the playoffs, but in the end, we're probably not going to make it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just lay off the scouting right now. Um, I do want to see the stats for Nurk. Let's see. Yeah, we are seven games back with uh, six games remaining. So I'm surprised we haven't. They haven't clinched. It's probably because there is the Pelicans. I bet. The Kings are only five games back. Pelicans. Yeah, the Grizzlies are going to lock up that spot. Um, which I think will probably happen, but um, I do want to look at the stats for Nurk. See how he's doing so far in his few games. Dame still averaging 28. So Nurk aver is averaging 14, shooting 46%. I'm fine with that. Hood obviously is hurt. He was playing very well in his time. Um, who else do I want to look at? Oh yeah, Zach Collins. So he's shooting the ball bad, but I mean, he just came back from injury. So what we are going to do now, add some more minutes, take some from Mello and Whiteside, get Nurk some minutes, and then get to call in some minutes. We just got to get these guys back in the swing of things before the offseason. So we're still late through the date. Um, hopefully we just lose as many games as we can now. Now that we are pretty much out of playoff contention, beat the Grizzlies, probably beat the Cavs here. So, uh, Bruce, I'll just leave the rotation. He can stay. We scored 150 against the Cavs. Mello's back. Okay. So, the offseason is what I really want to focus on right here. Um, I'm not going to do the draft this episode. Draft will come next episode, but I'll do everything before the draft. So, let's see if we can end out with some wins. Don't really want them. We'll go. Hopefully, we lose here. And we beat them. So, Giannis wins MVP. I could care less about this. Let's see if Dame makes an All-NBA team. He definitely will. If Dennis doesn't make All-NBA first team, he should make second team. He doesn't. He makes third team, ending with averages of 28, 7, 46% from the field, 39. That's a great season. I doubt we'll have defense. We actually do have Hassan. Hassan played well in his contract year. That's, like, I'm glad Hassan played well this year, but... Obviously, he's not going to ask for more money. So we're going to go ahead and just sim the playoffs and then jump into the offseason. So the Clippers ended up winning the championship. That was expected. Kawhi won finals MVP. And we're going to go ahead and advance and hop into the offseason. Player retirements, anything. Kyle Korver, Tyson Chandler, and Joe, Joe Kim Noah retires a little earlier than I would expect. Staff retirements, Greg Popovich ends up retiring. That's interesting. League meetings, make sure nothing gets accepted. So, uh, 
yeah, everything is going to get rejected. Um, Rising Stars game, that'll be interesting, but uh, yeah, uh, league realignment, nothing here we care about. Draft lottery, this is where we're going to, where it's going to get interesting. Um, so go ahead and jump into that. I'm not going to sim, I'm going to play it out. It looks like we have the 11th best odds. Um, I'm cool. If we stay in 11th, I'm perfectly fine with that. I would love to jump a little higher because if we could pick up Isaac Okoro in the draft, I think that would be a really good, a, a good pick. So Kings get 14th. Um, Isaac Okoro, Denny of EG. If we don't get, I don't want to get any guards. I think Simons has that locked up with the backup point guard. And then Gary Train is a great backup shooting guard. Uh, so small forward is what I'm looking for. Maybe power forward. Zach Collins, I still think, is a great future power forward. Um, Spurs get here. So this is where we're supposed to go. If we don't go here, that probably means we jumped up to at least, I don't know. I, I don't know how the draft lottery works. But here we go. Are we the 11th pick? We are. So we stay with the 11th pick. Mark Tatum doesn't say it. this will be their 10th lottery selection all time. Yeah. So we're, we're not always in the lottery, which is a great thing. Um, Pistons get the number one pick, so hopefully they don't screw it up and go. Hopefully they go Lamella. So we are going to exit the draft and then go to staff. So um, I might get a. I want to. I want to keep Terry for sure. I think he's a great um, person. Pargo, great assistant coach. Now. The question is, do we want to get some new GMs? Like, who are some candidates? I, I just want to view some candidates right now for assistant GM. So we got an A, B, C, A minus and B plus. Um, what are this guy's stats? C minus B plus. So yeah, he's he's not the best. And then Pargo's good, but I feel like we could do better. Trainer. We had done, we had a lot of injuries this year, so the trainer. Definitely gonna have to go. Head scout. I feel like we could do better. Perry Stott's gonna say, I like Pargo. I know his stats are bad, but he's he's good. Uh, the CFO can stay, and then assistant GM is gonna go. So we're cleaning the house a little bit. Here we go. Assistant GM, who are we gonna go after? I like this A minus A. Um, is there anyone else we want here? A minus B plus, but I'm gonna go with this A minus A. Michael Williams. Uh, we'll give you three years. Sure, 527, okay. Uh, inform us in the following. Um, he's tentative. He rejected us, wow. Um, okay. So that's tough. Uh, Go back at the assistant GM. I see a B, B minus. Um, is there any, that other A probably is gone by now. We got an A minus and D. Um, I think negotiations are the most important in my opinion um, because trading obviously has to do with me. Not a lot of options here. So I'm gonna go with this B, B, uh, I'm actually gonna go with this B, C minus because of the potential he has. Four year, three years, roll up the money, he appreciates us, um, he will sign. So that's great, we got our um, assistant GM. That's good. Head scout, uh, we got an A. I like, the, I like potential more than just straight up scouting. Um, we're gonna go with, I saw an A back up there, an A in potential, an A and a B. Where do we wanna go? Uh, yeah, so the A and the B is going to be the best. Unless we want to go over here, A minus B minus, but he's not even a head scout. What am I even looking at? Uh, the A minus B minus is actually probably going to be the best. Because we got no A. Uh, we got an A and a, that's assistant coach. All right, so this guy we're going to go after, Walter Forrest. Run up that salary, give him the bag. <laughs> Uh, he appreciates it and he will sign. So we got our head scout and then trainer to me is most important for us. So I, I think the training is the most important part. So if we already have an A here, then I'll be happy. But I, if not, that B and A back up there, 
going to be the best, and it's the only option. Sean Lee, welcome. Um, we'll inform you of his decision. He will sign. So nice. Terry, we only have one more year. Is there a way I can edit? No, I can't. So that's going to be our staff. Um, I think that's going to do it for the first episode of this. Um, I'll drop new episodes every day. Next episode will be uh, draft, all draft. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, remember, subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Um, and see who we draft in the next episode. Um, until then, that'll be it. Peace.